Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to be showing you over 50 ideas for what to build as your house in Minecraft. If you're not sure what type of home to make and maybe you want something a bit different then this video should hopefully help you out whether that's by inspiring an idea of your own or even just using one of these builds as your actual house luckily for you i have a tutorial for each and every one that will be linked in the description down below We'll start nice and simple. How about pitching up a small tent out in the middle of the woods where you can be at one with nature? Another house that's perfect for a location like this is a lumberjack themed house. Simply put, it's just a regular wooden house built to look as though it belongs to a lumberjack. That's you, you're the lumberjack in this scenario. Maybe you want something a little less realistic though. You could always build your house in the side of a mountain, allowing you to get some glorious views through these big windows. You could even have part of the house protruding out of the cliff, along with a lovely balcony to stand on. Better still, you could put it behind a waterfall. It's the same concept, just with water flowing around the entrance. Perhaps you want something a little bit more up to date. A modern house might suit you a bit better. Whether it's a tiny modern house or a really big one that makes you look like a millionaire. Going even further forward in time, this cyberpunk house is a really cool build style that will definitely impress your neighbours. Why set up your base on land at all? Why not head out onto the open seas and build yourself a fancy yacht to live on? Or maybe just a nice simple raft? Or even combine a boat and a house to get a houseboat? Then again, why not just head underwater and build a house down there with a fish instead? The water can be quite cold come to think about it, so maybe building your house in a lava pool instead might be better. You may need to go to the nether for that one though, so whilst you're there, you could set up camp too. If you're a psychopath, if you are, I do have quite a few nether house tutorials, lots to pick from. It doesn't hurt sometimes to just pick a style and go with that for your house. The trouble is, what style could you choose? Well, there's medieval, but that's been done a million times before, so maybe an adobe-styled house could be pretty cool, or even a Spanish-themed house and make yourself a villa to live in. There's also Nordic. I find a hay roof works best here, so make sure you have some wheat on standby. Japanese houses are always beautiful, no matter how big or small. Maybe even build a fantasy slash magical looking house. I'm not sure on the architectural term for this style, but desert sounds like a fun idea if you want to set up in that biome. You can also have a look on Google for some more building styles that you can follow along. One of my favourite houses to build in Minecraft are hobbit holes, they're just so cosy. You can also use this same idea of building a house inside of something with just the entrance on show, a little bit like the cliff houses from earlier, and then just change up the style depending on what it is. For example, this house is built into an iceberg, so I've gone with some colder, icy looking blocks like quartz. Maybe you don't even need an entrance at all, and you can just build your home into a naturally generating cave. Really helpful if you like mining. If you do want to build an underground house, but you don't actually want to go quite as deep as that, you can always just go a few blocks down and have a glass ceiling, which can make for a really cool looking house, especially from a bird's eye view. Alternatively, if you don't want to see the outside world for some reason and you want something a bit more hidden away, then maybe a small bunker is more to your liking. Then again, maybe you want to be able to do more than just see the outside world. Well, with this house, you have direct access to it, all whilst being built into the ground itself. This one's a classic, but I think for a good reason. How about building yourself a mighty castle to live in? Or even something a little bit smaller, but just as defensive. Possibly even something with a nether theme and a lava moat to make look very intimidating. If you're not defending yourself from your server mates and instead would like to live peacefully with them, this two player house could be perfect. Each side is identical so you don't need to fight over who gets the left and the right. Something that can be fun to do is turn things that already exist into Minecraft into your own house. For example, this small flower pot can be sized up into a massive flower pot that you can live inside of. See this tiny red mushroom that you definitely couldn't fit inside of? Pfft. Well, now you can, just like that. This works for mobs too. The new sniffer mob is on its way to 1.20, so why not get an early start and build it in your world to live in? Something else you could do is turn your house into a challenge of sorts. Maybe try building your house out of wood products only. Like this one here, at least for the most part. You could even try to go against all of your building instincts and make a diagonal house. Looks a bit weird at first, but it's really fun to try. 
Let's now take a step back and go through some more simple ideas. There's nothing wrong with building a cute and cozy small starter house like these. There's also nothing wrong with building some much bigger houses like these. Perhaps you don't want a regular house as such. How about a tower? Each floor can be designated for a certain aspect of Minecraft survival. You could also build a tiny cottage to live in, maybe one with a fairy tale twist added into it. A log cabin built in a snowy biome can be super warm and comforting to set up as your house. Same goes with this small Swiss chalet. Just a few more ideas to get through now, and none of these really correlate with any of the others, so we'll just reel them off right at the end here. Starting off with a hanging house, yep, this home is a big old ball hanging from the underside of a mountain using some grindstones to serve as really strong chains. Next up is a bridge house. It's probably what you'd expect. You build a bridge, but instead of it just being a straight shot from one side to the other, your house is right in the middle. With the fairly new addition of mangrove swamps, houses on stilts can be a great thing to build as your base perfect for elevating yourself out of the murky waters. Tree houses sound like a cool idea, but they can be kind of tricky to pull off well. Luckily, this tree house is actually really simple. It's more of a tree platform, if we're being honest, but it still works just as well. You may have heard of igloos before. Well, how about a glass igloo? So you can perfectly stare into the night sky and maybe catch a glimpse of the northern lights if you're lucky. If you want to stare even further out into the night sky, well, you're going to have to set up shop in an observatory. This one is fitted with a giant telescope, of course, as well as a functional house. And last but not least, we have a steampunk airship where you can live on the ship itself or in the balloon. You might need an elytra for this one, though. So there we go, everybody. That was over 50 ideas of what your next Minecraft house could be. I really hope you got some good inspiration from this video and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you ever so much for doing that and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.